Have you ever heard of something special called the Aspen Challenge? Well, there are 20 different Chicago high schools that are participating in this, and it allows students to work together to solve a problem within their school and community. So we brought a few friends from the school areas this morning, and they're joining us from Lynn Bloom High School. This is Coach Gina Caniva. Gina's on the end there. I told Gina she looks like one of the students. Mm -hmm. And then Alyssa Diaz over here, and Curtis Robinson, and along with them are retired carpenter Greg Zanis. Thank you, everyone everyone for joining us this morning. So I think I want to start with you, Gina. Tell us what the Aspen Challenge is. So the Aspen Challenge is a, a competition in kind of like good nature. Um, so 20 high schools in Chicago are participating and this year it's also in Philadelphia. And so they are um, asking students, um, it's like a really big service learning project, to um, get out in their communities, get out in their schools and solve a problem. My students today, um, they uh, our team of eight uh, are working to break the junk food cycle at both our school um, within themselves and their family and in the community. Okay, and Curtis, I want you to to elaborate on what your coach just said. Uh, tell us uh, what this junk food challenge is, what your concerns are, and what you guys have done. Um, so basically, we saw a problem within our own school. Students, um, they were eating junk food like every in the morning in after school, so we wanted to try to tackle that problem. And so one of the ways you tackle this problem is by this. Tell me about this. So our food pantry idea we actually got from Ms. Caneva because there were um, little like free libraries around the neighborhood yeah. and we decided that if people can pick a book out of a little free library that they certainly can get a little snack from our food pantry. And so where are these located at the school? So we're going to have one outside of our school, mm -hmm. one outside of Earl, and at two churches, and then Curtis. Um, we also have one, one going at um, Metropolitan Family Services at Kennedy King, Okay. I Grow Chicago, Alderman Lopez's. Um, Alderman Lopez's office and a police station on 63rd. Very, very nice. Okay. And all of this work could not have been done without the help of our retired carpenter, Greg Zanis, right? Okay. Tell me, was it, Coach, was it you who got Greg involved? Um, yeah, actually, Alyssa oh. called first. Oh, okay. Um, but we had seen, you know, he did the crosses. Yeah, let's talk about that. Right. So, Greg, let's get a little history about you. People know you in Chicago who they may not know what you've done, but you've been responsible for making those crosses that we've been seeing a lot for lives that have been lost as a result of violence. Yeah. I've been making crosses for 20 years, and as of lately, there was some controversy about a some crosses I had in Inglewood, mm -hmm. and and Gina reached out to me and asked me if I would help out with this project, and I just thought, wow, this is a great way to do something for the community, and um, yeah, I'm all in. Okay, so, and, uh, and you're all in by how you taught you've taught the kids how to make these. The, these students put these together. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you got to see them. They're just, I, I mean, you you probably heard they were cheering when they got the first. Screw and I mean, it's so exciting to, <laughs> to see new life and and they're just such a smart bunch of kids mm -hmm. that you know, you know, from an outsider, you, meaning I live in Aurora, Illinois, sure. it's easy to down and and ditch people, but if you're seeing what I'm seeing. I just can't tell you, Aww. you know, I've, I've got a new opinion about the whole thing, too. I you love know, that. So. so you've been very touched by all of this. And Curtis, tell me, he said you guys were so excited from the first nail. What It meant a lot for you to be able to create these yourselves, right? <laughs> yeah. Tell us about that. So um, this is my first time building, putting something together. And um, I got to handle a, um, a drill, and it was, it was just really, it felt really cool. Right, because you've never done anything like that before. Did you feel the same way? Yeah, they actually have a video of us on our Twitter of me putting a screw in and then everybody cheering because I couldn't do it. <laughs> okay, so open this little door for us. So these are going to be located at the different locations that you told us about. And are they free to whomever wants them? What are some of the snacks you have in there, and are they free? Um, we actually have a snack that was donated to us, the Bitsy's Crackers. Okay. And then we're also going to be putting in little um, like cookbooks and also like snacks that we pay for. I love that. But we love donations. Okay, so you could use some extra help. Is there anything you want to add, Coach, about all of this? Um, so we've reached out to Home Depot about um, a donation for the plywood and mm -hmm. extra supplies like that, and it sounds like they're going to come through on it. Oh, um, that's so great. Yeah, and so we're also looking for more food donations as well. Well, I love that. Congratulations to all of you, including you, for taking part. And you've obviously touched him in a way that he never expected. So no. I'm glad that you guys have come together. Here's the website that we uh, that have up on our screen there. If people want to find out more information, I will let you uh, 
give the website name. Go ahead, Curtis. Oh, the website name is superfoodshy.weebly.com. Okay, thank you very much. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Keep up the good work, and you keep up the good work, too. Right? We appreciate it.